Hello everyone, your favorite Senso Tech Jedi back with uh, number six. Yes, I think we're on number six of the Classroom Management Playlist series. All right, today I'm gonna to talk about Allow Apps. Now, Allow Apps is a great way to restrict Windows PCs to a set of allowed applications. And I did say I would bring attention to tools that are specific to these types of devices. So this is a Windows specific um, tool. It's not gonna work on your Chromebooks. So for this one, we can, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so you can see what the module look like. And within here, we're going to be able to restrict locally installed applications on these Windows devices. Things like keyboarding programs, AutoCAD, oh my gosh, any sort of CTEs, things like that. So in today's example, I'm actually gonna use TestNav because TestNav is a very common state testing platform that would, in this sense, make, uh, this would be a very powerful tool to have if you had an entire lab or classroom set of devices that you were trying to restrict to just testing software for that day. Now for here, um, there I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can actually get to those specific devices. Of course, you always have the option to come into your groups and your sites and go ahead and filter those devices down that way. So if I click on here, it's because we are just talking about Windows devices, you know, we don't need to show Chromebooks. Another way you can think about looking at just the devices that you need to look at Use the search feature. I know that these devices are called this as a naming convention. I can actually restrict them down and just run this on these devices. Now it might be easier that way because here you do have to use those tick boxes. I told you those were very important. Um, if you didn't wanna have to rely on that, then you could simply just click the site or the group and that would send this tool out to all those devices there. Okay, so let's get into talking about how the tool works. You will open it up and then you will toggle on, I'm going to restrict an application on these devices. Let me make this a little, no, not that big, a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna show you just device name today. You can toggle on or off a warning box. Again, we give you a lot of mechanisms built into these tools so that you can set it up how it's gonna work perfectly for you at your site. Um, so you may not wanna have a warning box, it may kick them out of the program, or you may wanna let them know, hey, these, these devices are being restricted today to just these, um, applications. So the application I am restricting today, like I said, is testnav.exe. So you'll want to type that in. You can do more than one process. You would just do it one process per line. So if I had another, you know, I was doing a keyboarding program or something like that, or it's a lab, I just want to always restrict, restrict to just a certain set of applications. You could just click enter and add in all of those executables right down the line here. Then we've also given you some very easy mechanisms to turn on other specific things they may, might need to have access to. Calculator, uh, browsers, magnifiers, Microsoft Word, those type of things. You would simply come in here and toggle those on or off. And again, like I said in my other video, utilize these shortcuts. Make your life easier. You know, save this as a shortcut as restrict test nav, turn off test nav, turn on, that sort of thing, and save it as an icon. So I'm going to go up and make sure that I have put checkboxes here for the devices that I want to run this on and I'm going to click run. <laughs> now it is run. Now these devices that I have selected are restricted to just test nav. I'm going to go ahead and select this one. Let's make it bigger so that we can all see it. I know my big head's in the way, but it's all right. I think we'll still be able to see it. Okay, so here's test nav, but let me show you what happens if they try to open something else. Now, Firefox, I'm specifically showing you this because it's going to give you the, uh, God, your tab just crashed in conjunction with that box that's also going to show up that says that they can't um, access right here, the processes. But Chrome is just going to just give you the box. Uh, let's see what else I got on here. Oh, let's try to open up Minecraft, you know, so just using this as an example of something that would be installed locally on this machine. But when we go to test nav to run that, let's go ahead and open, it's going to allow test nav to run just fine. So let's exit full screen. Now you can, if you had it open and you were watching this at the end of the day, you could simply come in and turn this off and run it. Or let's say you've refreshed your portal, you've gone away, you've had other things to do, test administration, that sort of thing. You can always just open up that module again later in the day and you simply just want to make sure everything is turned off and run it again. So now it's telling these devices, hey, turn everything off. Uh, we want them to have access to all the other types of applications that are on these devices. 
So let's go back to screen scale, best screen. There we go. And let's go ahead and let's close. Well, we don't have to close test now, but we can. Um, and let's see what happens. Let's go to Chrome. It's gonna open up Chrome, no problem right there. It's gonna open up Firefox. It's gonna open up all of the different things that we need to open up on here just fine because we told it it's okay to go ahead and do that. All right, guys, join me for the next one. We're gonna talk about block sound. I'll see you there.